Hi, and welcome to the first uh, episode of the summer season for MePod Radio. I'm your host, Eric Ray Nicholson. And I'm your host, Dylan Wilmeth. And we're broadcasting live from Dylan's fair city, Grafton, Grafton Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> um, as you can tell, we're alive. We have not died, so stop asking us those questions. Um, Who was asking us those questions? Shh. I was oh. supposed to ask. All right. Um, as you can tell, I, trimmed my, I shaved my beard off. I had to for my job. Um, and I still haven't found a suitable replacement for my hat. <laughs> it's okay. But you had a, but you have a cup. You have a mug now. I do, yes. Yes. Ha-ha. An armadillo to rival his snake. My snake. <laughs> ah. <laughs> We're such dorks. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what, wait, what, what day is it, Julian? Oh, it's been a while. I don't know, Eric. Let's check out the, the Book of, of Days! Whoa. Whoa. All right, well, today, Eric, interesting, in the year 1215, John, King John of England, put his seal on the Magna Carta. Wow, Di- I, li- I know what that is. What is it? It's the, uh, it was a statement that said no man is above the law, even the king. That's right. Yeah. And uh, it influenced documents like our Declaration of Independence. Well, Constitution. Constitution, Constitution. That's, Constitution. It, that's it, right. Get mixed up. It's a, oh, how dare you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, also, uh, on a similar note... Revolution. Ben Franklin, uh, he in 1752 he did the kite thing. And, uh, no, it's actually not well, true. Well, all right, fine. He, <laughs> he what he did eventually is found that lightning is electricity. Right, which I is know. pretty big no matter yeah. how you look at it. Yeah. Uh, also, 1775, Washington is made commander of the Continental Army. Yeah. Birthdays today, 1937, Waylon Jennings, oh. who was the answer to one of our quizzes in the previous episode. Yeah, that's right, with uh, the the uh, country guy. Right? That's yeah. right. That's right. And in 1973, Neil Patrick Harris was NPH. also born today. Love that movie. Uh, right. You ever seen Harold Kumar? No. Okay, he's in that. He makes a cameo in there as like as a drug addicted, uh, crazy person. I like him in Doctor Horrible's sing along blog. Of course. Mm-hmm. So right. now let me know what day it is. It's, it's review, review time. time. Well, before we get to the album reviews proper, I have a couple live shows I saw over okay. the summer, or just this past weekend actually. <laughs> the first one was a very very local, uh, just at a house of one of the guys we reviewed. It was at Pree's house. He actually happens to live at the same town I do. <laughs> That's so weird, because I thought, you know, because his producer lives in the same town I do. Right. Now, I didn't know that. Whoa! I didn't even know that before I came here. So I was like, oh, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> um, but basically what it was, it was a fundraising concert for a leadership sort of opportunity for students. Mm-hmm. And there were um, four groups there. First group technically didn't show up. Um, technically? But- well, all right. They they said they had to do something else. Okay. So they had an excuse. Got it. I showed up for the second group. Um, this is Glenview Lane um, by my old friend uh, Robbie Schreiner. Okay. And um, also the uh, third group was the debut concert performance of Snake Swallow Tales with my good friend Chris Lee. And um, the third one, I didn't know these guys, but they were still good. The Parlor Room. Okay. Uh, just a quick rundown. Glenview Lane. I did pre-perform. Oh, uh, pre-performed actually instead of the first group. Okay, okay. Uh, he did a little 10-minute rap session. I didn't see that. I okay. came a little bit late. That's fine. Um, but Glen- Glenview Lane, I've seen these guys since, like, I believe, my junior year of high school. I've known them for a while, and they're good. Um, I-, I think they're- they might go someplace. Mm. De- at least uh, their lead singer has a lot of vibrant energy, Robbie, definitely. And my favorite is the last song, um, Bibby, I think it is. It's uh, it's a very good ending song, talking about it's time to say goodbye, no need to wonder why. Very good. I'll check out their MySpace page. The, uh, also, Those are linked to below. Yes. Uh, also, um, Snake Swallow Tales, like I said, their debut performance, and it was really good. You wouldn't have known that it was their debut performance. It was... They were quite... It's a two, two-piece group, uh, just a guy on acoustic guitar and Chris Lee, the singer, and they have some very intelligent lyrics on one of their songs. The word of today is Ouroboros. They use that word in one of the songs. Ouroboros? It means the snake that swallows its own tail. Oh. And also references back to their name. Right. It's an old type of dragon mythology thing. Wow. Kind of a symbol of infinity and so forth. Uh-huh. But very good. And also the third group, the Parlor Room, uh, was also um, good. Well, it's technically a five-group, five-piece band, but only two members were there. But it actually worked out. Okay. Um, play, they were playing the guitars. They did a couple Everclear covers. 
Uh, I had to leave early, but they said they were going to do a Bob Dylan cover. I, I didn't get to hear that. <laughs> but all three groups were very good. I can't say that one was really uh, exceptionally better than the other. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I need to hear more of the second two groups. I'm right. more familiar with Films Lane, but I'd give the whole, for being a local concert held in someone's basement, I'd give the whole concert um, a B. That's good. Yeah. Uh, what about the second concert? You said you, you, said you went yes. to another one? Yes. Now, this is at the Paps Theater in um, Milwaukee, a little bit more up, upscale. And this is the new pornographers. Oh, yeah. Upscale, definitely. Wow. The name like that. <laughs> the, the group is very interesting. Now, I don't know too much about them. The songs I've heard, I like. But my sister's a big fan, and she kind of uh, asked me if I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, I only know two songs by them. But I, it was a good concert because I liked a lot of the other songs even that I did know. They have a great beat, up-tempo, while I definitely want to get to know this group better because of this concert. And that way it was good. But they didn't show up. They didn't start until two and a half hours after the starting date. Now, of course, they had two opening groups. But first of all, the entire thing didn't start until half an hour late. Okay. But each of the groups, the opening groups, um, the Dodos and the Duke and the Duchess, if I remember correctly, okay. um, were given an hour each, wow. which is a little bit excessive. They were both good. And the second group, they didn't give their names, so I can't find out which is which, but the group with the marimbas. Uh, yeah, they had uh, one guy almost solely on marimbas, and that was fantastic. Um, some songs kind of reminded me of Sigaros. Um, you need to check... I'll, I'll post the name down below of those guys, because they're good. You need to check them out. Okay. But finally, the new pornographers came, and it was good, but I was really, really tired. It was a busy <laughs> day, um, so the sound was good. I was a little ticked because of the lateness, so I'd probably give it yeah, a B, B minus because I was ticked about being late. But oh. they, were, they were a good group. I'm going to check them out some more. Awesome. Next. Next. It's time to say goodbye. No need to wonder why. You know it all the time. All the path I walk is mine. But now before I go, there's something you should know.